Hello everyone! Today I'll be doing a comparison between the Australian girl doll and the American girl doll. Annabelle is an Australian girl doll and is available on the Australian girl doll website for $124.95 in Australian dollars and is available at some selected Australian stores. Dakota is an American girl just like you or my American girl doll and she retails for 115 US dollars. Let's start off with some physical differences. Firstly, we can see that Australian girl dolls are taller than American girl dolls. Australian girl dolls are 20 inches tall whereas American girl dolls measure 18 inches tall. But American girl dolls have visible body cloth under their necks. This is because American girl dolls have a full body cloth torso when compared to Australian girl dolls who have a one quarter vinyl torso and three quarters cotton body torso. Because of this, American girl dolls also have neck strings on the back of them to keep their head attached to their body. Another difference between the two dolls is their heads and necks. As you can see, the Australian girl doll's head is a separate piece to their neck. This means that they can move their head side to side as well as up and down. However, American girl dolls can't really move their heads up and down as their head is already attached to their neck in one piece. However, they can still move their heads side to side. Now let's move on to facial features. As you can see, Australian girl dolls have slightly bigger facial features than American girl dolls. This is what Australian girl doll eyebrows look like. Some American girl dolls have feathered eyebrows, but just like you 24, the one that I have here has lined eyebrows. Their eyelashes are also quite different. Australian girl dolls eyelashes are more separated and they also have drawn on ones on the bottom and on the top of their eyes. Whereas American girl doll eyelashes are more grouped together and it looks like there's more of them, but they don't have any drawn on. Both dolls have very sweet smiles that both show two teeth. Their ears are pretty much identical except Australian girl doll ears are a bit bigger than American girl doll ears. Both dolls also have sleep eyes. They both have some really nice light colouring on their cheeks that's kind of pink. Both doll brands have wigs that are made out of cancolon fibre and they're both really high quality wigs. Both doll brands have high quality vinyl limbs except their skin tones are a bit different. Australian girl dolls have slightly bigger hands than American girl dolls. The detailing on the hands are very similar and on both dolls the third and the fourth finger are joined together and there's a gap between the third and the second finger as well as the fourth and the fifth finger and between the thumb and the second finger. Australian girl dolls have more of a curve in their arms whereas American girl dolls have more straighter arms. I realised that when the American girl doll hands are by their side, the um, palm is facing towards the back a bit more. Whereas on the Australian girl dolls, when their hands are by their side, it's their pinky finger that's facing the back. So the position um, of the hands are a bit different. Australian girl dolls have longer feet than American girl dolls. Australian girl dolls also have a gap between their first and second toes so that they can wear flip flops easier and they also have more of an arch in their foot. Both doll brands can sit down though it's a bit hard for Dakota to sit down at the moment in her jeans and their arms and legs are really good for posing and have great mobility. So overall, I definitely recommend both Australian and American girl dolls. They're both really high quality dolls and so photogenic and lots of fun to style their hair and everything. So if you have any more questions about these dolls, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you soon.